Hello and welcome back to the second part of the platforms. So this time we'll be setting this kind up. So I'll make it to where they can go back and forth or basically any way that you really want them to. I got some over there that go up and then over and... So I'll show you how to do that now. Get out of here. To that warning, not y'all. Y'all are welcome to stay. So back in our project, I'm going to get rid of that gym. We don't need it get out of here so back in the platforms folder oh I have no platform pieces you know what? I'm gonna rename that uh, rotating platforms folder to just platforms because really it's just got the one blueprint so we can just store them all in here so I'm gonna right click create another blueprint class of an actor um, I don't I don't really know what to call I'm just gonna call it traversal platform underscore BP you can name it whatever you like uh, and then I'm gonna double click and open that up and over in the components tab I'm going to add a cube just like last time except for I'm gonna go point one on the Z and three on the X wait let's see five on the X and three on the 2.5 on the Z the Y rather, not the Z. Just so it kind of has that, you know, that, that kind of look. Then we'll compile that real quick. And then we want to add that interp to movement uh, movement component again. So like I said in the last one, this one will take control points and it'll move this platform in between those control points over a set duration. So the way we can customize this is let's go into the construction script and we will drag out that interp to movement. So off that we want to set the control points. The reason we're doing this in the construction script, just a little refresher, is so that as the level is being built you can kind of customize and be able to see where it's going. Instead of having it hardwired inside the blueprint, each one will be completely customizable. So we will hook this construction script to the set control points. We will drag off this array, which if you remember, arrays are just a, a grouping of variables. We'll promote that to a variable called control points, which it'll automatically name it, I guess. All right, that works. And then we will click this little I so that in the level editor, we can see it. Now, the other thing we want to do is we want to set duration. The duration is how fast it'll move between the first point and the last point. So I'm going to default this to one, and then I'm going to promote it to a variable called duration. And you'll see that it's automatically a float, so we're all set there. But we want to make sure that we also click that I one more time. So now, back in the level, I can drag one of these out, and let's see. Let me just customize these a little bit. Let's put that back to 45. That one back to 45. All right, and then I'm going to drag out my traversal platform that I just made. Drag it about where I want it. Let's see, I want it close to that one. I'm gonna rotate it. And then in order to establish the control points in the details panel on the right, you'll see the default tab. We have this control points right here. We want to add one and not touch that one because that's where we want it to start. That'll be, it'll always start at the very first one in the array. So we can add a second one. And let's say I just want it to go to the left a little bit. That's not the left. That's the front. All right. I always get the X and the Y confused. I don't know. It's just, so I'll go, let's say we want it to go there. Now, if I don't alter the duration, then you'll see it'll go one second back in okay, yeah back in the traversal platform go back to the interp to movement because we need to establish its behavior so the behavior is how it's going to interact with those control points so we want its behavior type to be a ping pong and now you'll see it'll actually go back and forth but it goes very 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 quickly 
but if you watch, get out of here. If I click it and I set that duration to like 10, then you'll see it goes a lot slower. Yes, warning, I know. Now the cool thing about this uh, control point method is, so you can see where you have them all established. And if I set another one, so let me just go ahead and drag out another one. Where did it go? Drag out another one. I can set it close to where that one ends. And I will add a control point to it. And then if I add another one, I can make it go up. So this one will be going up. And then if I add another control point, I can make it go... Oh. Each control point is going to start at the first place. So let's say the second one goes up 650 units on the Z. I'll make this one go up 650 units on the Z. And then I can, that's the wrong one, I keep forgetting. I can make it go this way. Now we want it to be at about the same to where they overlap at this point. Because otherwise, you know, that won't be good. But whoa, <laughs> I didn't adjust that duration, did I? Not at all. So we'll set it to about 10, maybe 15. Give them just a little bit of a... I'm going to go ahead and drop in because I'm tired of seeing that. Um, that warning. So you'll see it's over there. This one's moving this way. It'll be on its way back in a little bit. So now it'll come back down as this one's kind of getting closer to it. So yeah, moving platforms, rotating platforms are pretty easy to set up. Doesn't take too long at all. You can change out this cube for any kind of mesh you would like. And um, yeah, really build to your heart's content. Uh, and the next one we'll start setting up a little bit of a level to start putting these platforms into and go over some of the things in order to have like a um, like a, a kill function to where if you fall in the water it respawns you at a checkpoint which we'll set up coming up soon and so yeah that's it for this another quick one so I will see you on the next one bye